Mozart and the City of Salt, the historic center of Salzburg in Austria. Salzburg has been described as the Rome of the Northern Alps. Its array of Baroque architecture in the historic center is inscribed as world heritage. The Salzburg residence was home to successive archbishops of the city. They were also lords and had both religious and political authority. These are the portraits of the successive archbishops. Their church politics began in the 8th century and continued for 1,000 years. Hohen Salzburg Castle was used as a fortress when the town was under attack. The castle was built during the 11th century by the archbishop of the time. It's been extended many times since then. The archbishops used the golden room here to accommodate their visitors. The walls and ceiling were gilded to demonstrate their wealth and power. This is the first archbishop, Archbishop Rupert. He's holding a pot of salt. It was the main source of their power. Rock salt, mined from the area, had 95% purity and was regarded as white gold. Salt was shaped into conical lumps known as fuda for trading purposes. One fuda weighed about 60 kilograms. The salt was transported along the city's river for sale across Europe. The word salz means salt and Salzburg means salt castle. This is a Salzburg account record from the 18th century. It shows that the Archbishop of the time gave Mozart one fooder of salt as a Christmas bonus. Mozart was born in Salzburg in 1756. He composed several works for the city's cathedral. It was modelled on St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome. There is an organ beside the altar here, once played by the composer. This is Archbishop Sigismund von Schrattenbach. He discovered Mozart's remarkable musical talent and appointed him as his concertmaster when the composer was just 13 years of age. Salzburg is known worldwide as Mozart's birthplace. There is a music festival in his honor each summer. A city which found its fortune in salt now thrives on Mozart's genius.